Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new make sure that you subscribe that way you'll never miss out on another pick a card reading I do one on my channel every single Friday and today is Friday. We're going to be diving into I really got this message where It's the time of the year where the leaves of trees shed and it's a time where the leaves go, like the trees go bare. And I thought this would be such an important message that a lot of you guys would like to hear about. So what we're doing today is what do you need to shed? What do you need to let go of? What is it in your life that you might be clinging on to that's not good for you? It doesn't serve you anymore. Let's get into that. Let's dive into that. I'm going to have you pick a pile number or a leaf. Specifically, these leaves are from the backyard of my house. And uh, there's this beautiful, big tree. And I am in love with this tree. And every year it sheds its leaves. And it's just so beautiful watching this tree evolve and change into its seasons. And still thrive and still be strong and sturdy. It's just beautiful to me. So I decided to um, incorporate that into my reading because I feel like we need to also pay homage and respect and show love to these trees that give us uh, shade and they give us a shelter sometimes, give us like a place to rest underneath it and every like so many things, right, that a tree provides. And so I wanted to kind of pay respect to it, but in a way where I want to move alongside with the season of the trees right now, which is their shedding season. So what I'm going to have you do is pick a pile number or a leaf that you're drawn to. Pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three. Now, with that being said, Let's get into what it is that you need to let go of and what you need to shed. While you guys are picking this pile, I want you to know a few quick announcements that I have. I have personal readings available on my Etsy shop. We also have um, oils going up that I feel like a lot of you guys have been asking for. And so if you guys are interested, head over to my Etsy shop. If you guys want more content from me, the, content that I really can't post here on YouTube, um, head over to Patreon. You get a little bit more intimate details about my life and what I'm doing and a lot more uh, spells and rituals that I really can't really put here on YouTube. So if you're interested, head over there. But with that being said, let's get into your reading. Pile number one, everybody that picked this nice bright yellow leaf interesting that you pick such a bright color the brightest color of the entire pile like all the piles right so i do feel like <clears throat> for some of you it might be a little bit hard to let go of whatever we're going to get into whatever it is that you need to let go of it's a little harder for you because i do feel like it has become so much a part of you so let's get into what it is i have not seen the cards yet i shuffled them but look at the first card you guys clinging to the past second card it's affecting the way you live it's affecting the way you function it's affecting the way you breathe eat sleep experience your life so what is it in your past that you're holding on to so strongly that's making you feel almost like your existence maybe doesn't even matter or that your existence is not important or it's not special or it's not valuable get those thoughts out of your head you guys no there's something here and it's such a strong message of the past that just kind of bursts like bursts into your present and it's not healthy it's not good it's something you definitely need to release and let go of the next card that comes up for you guys is surrendering to your soul's path your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth embrace every lesson and every moment so i do feel like uh okay i have a lot of things going on in my brain right now let me try to uh, 
to take a deep breath and organize in my brain. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a lot of things that you have overcome. Obstacles, challenges, trauma, lots of things that you've overcome. But you cling on to um, the negativity of that experience. And what's needed from you right now is for you to let go of the negativity and look at what you learned. Look at where you are. Look at what you overcame. Look at what happened and, and how you walked through it right sometimes uh, there's this quote I don't know how the quote really goes but it's like in order to get through something you have to go through it you can't go around it you can't go underneath it you can't go over it you just gotta go through it and I feel like that's what happened to you and a lot of you guys kind of hold um, grudges and maybe like like you don't want to forgive um because it was so hurtful it was so traumatizing it was so painful and you so so you know whatever the situation was for you because this is a general reading that i'm picking up on it's you guys kind of hold on to the anger and you hold on to the pain because you're like like, how could they do this to me? How could, or what did they do to me? Like, well, you know, and what I need from you guys is to realize you are very worthy of living a happy life. You're very worthy of living a life where you experience things that you enjoy and you have fun and you learn and grow from and I feel like you might have been blocking yourself from doing these things for a long time so I want you I have an assignment for you I want you to do something that you love to do what is it for you you know I always like to give examples like for me it would be artwork crafting um traveling like coloring even like simple things like cooking cleaning um and really like creating my own things like uh, I have a video coming up on YouTube very very soon sneak peek right now it's uh, it's going to be like a fall um, candle that you can do to pay respect to everything that has shed and I'm really excited for that because I've done it a few times and so I only share with you guys what I do myself and how like I see the benefits of it in my life and I see how it works and I see the positive effects that it brings. So I only share with you those things. And so uh, stay tuned for that video because I feel like it will help you a lot to do that ritual or spell um, if you are interested. But I do see here like something in your past is holding you back from living your true life. And it's holding you back from following what you want to follow. Like, is somebody in your head? It, did somebody criticize you so bad? Or, you know, put such bad negative seeds into your mind that you're clinging on to those things. Um, even when you want to move on and you want to move forward, those, those little seeds pop back up. And that's not fair for you. Um, and it's not right. And it's not healthy it's toxic that's a toxic seed so certain seeds that have been planted within ourselves whether it's from childhood from a relationship from a traumatic experience some seeds are not healthy they're not good they don't serve you they're very very um evil i, I the first word that popped up into my head was evil sometimes some people just plant really evil seeds within yourself within you and and you go on about life and every time you're about to do something good you hear their voice and sometimes their voice turns into your voice now i want to say that again sometimes their voice turns into your voice and that's not good and i feel like for a lot of you that's kind of what happened so we need to get your voice back 
your existence, your soul's path, your passion. Get out of your head. And a lot of these seeds that have been planted, they're in your head, right? Uh, we don't want to get it so strong that it seeps into our heart and our emotions. And I feel like a lot of you, it has. But that's okay. We can come out of it. Uh, get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Right? We were just talking about that. What makes you happy? What makes you excited? Forget the past. You have this box over your head of a filter of every memory of your past that was not good. We need to let that go. Take that box out. If you take that box out your head, look at what you see. You see your soul's path. You see your passion. A lot of you, I feel like if you can connect with this energy and really allow yourself to let go, I feel like there's something about your skin. There's something about your the way that you look there you know you might be dealing with acne you might be dealing with some kind of a skin condition or a health issue health problem something in your body but what i see more strongly is like skin and acne and stuff like that um that is just going to become luscious and beautiful if you can take this box out of your head that you have created from your past experiences because that's not where you're supposed to be you're supposed to be here free and clear and just looking at your life for what it is not for what other people have done to you not for what kinds of traumatic things you've experienced your life should be looked at for all the beauty you see and i feel like your attention and your focus need to um, go towards more things that you find beautiful more things that make you happy more things that help nurture your soul and and stuff like that like for me something that nurtures my soul is cooking I love cooking finding new recipes trying it out then then eating it I love it but what is it for you do you like dancing do you want to learn a new dance and then do it do you want to maybe garden and plant some seeds that you never planted before and then see how it goes? So it's a bunch of different things for a bunch of different people. Surrendering to your spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Sometimes we put an intention out there, we do a spell, we do a ritual, we do some kind of manifestation technique to get something that we want, even praying. But we do all of this with still a filter of the past or of negativity or of trauma, revenge, anger, pain, sadness, right? You don't want to because I have a video coming up very, very soon. The number one ingredient in anything that you ever do or touch is your emotion. It's a magnet, law of attraction. Like attracts like. So if you're feeling upset and you go into a ritual, feeling the upsetness, it's an ingredient that you're bringing into the spell. So you don't want to do that. Um, and that's why I feel like music is such a big thing. Like music really gets you um, into a, a state of mind. So if you guys want, I actually would love this if you do this. Comment down below what is a song that puts you in a good mood. I would love to know. I will listen to every single song that every one of you guys put out there because I am very fascinated about what kinds of tunes and frequencies and words, voices, um, make people feel what. So it's very fascinating to me and I would love to know what is a song that puts you in a good mood and I want you to listen to that. Okay? Then the next card that comes up for you guys is Black Flower Fragrance. Yep. This is exactly what we've been talking about, you guys. There's something you need to let go of that is making you vibrate in a low level. If you see those black roses coming out of this woman's heart, 
everything that comes out of our heart every time your heart beats now I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Aquaman but there was a scene in Aquaman where um, there was a king underneath the ocean that was frozen I don't remember the movie too well so I might have some details wrong but he was frozen and then when he started to come back to life his heart started beating and every beat of his heart created a ripple in the ocean and that made me really think about every beat of our heart and what it's beating from is it beating from anger is it beating from uh, happiness is it beating from sadness is it beating from excitement it creates ripples and underneath the ocean you can see how his heart was creating the ripples and it really made me think about how we don't see but every time our heart beats it creates a ripple it's such a strong um spiritually it's just very strong every time your heart beats and what it's beating towards what it's beating in what emotion is it beating in you know so it creates ripples and then you can see how the ripples go out and out and out into the ocean and so it goes out and out and out into the atmosphere in, in when it comes to us right human beings so what are you beating what is your heart beating out into the atmosphere because that is what you're attracting and what I see right now is a lot of you guys need to spend a little bit more time with the nature green colors water trees rocks earth energy and it's going to ignite a passion within you that will help you heal and move on from whatever this is the last card that comes up for your reading is far away places get ready for new horizons I see travel for a lot of you guys I see um, something that has to do with something ethnic so either like uh, a different kind of a culture different religion a different kind of country that you're traveling to I feel like a lot of you guys have felt really really trapped for a long time but now you're gonna be a free bird and I also see a lot of you guys having an abundance of food and um, when it comes to like what are you shedding I feel like an, a big thing that a lot of you need to shed is some kind of a lack mentality when it comes to food or experiencing food experiencing new foods experiencing new places new cultures just new territory if you have been wanting to move maybe somewhere um, it might be a good idea for you to move because it's something that is within you but maybe something um, in your past maybe a, some stupid seed that somebody planted within your head was like oh you can't move there you'll never survive oh you can't move there it's too cold oh you can't move there it's too hot you can't move there blah 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 um, don't listen to anybody else you surrender to your own spirit your existence is your own and what you feel is right because it's your soul's path your soul's path not anybody else's so these are some of the things that you need to surrender and let go of I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to book a reading with me I have a few readings up on my Etsy shop that are available but they do sell out really really quickly so head on over and book your spot and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye. Pile number two. All of my pile number two people. Okay, so you picked a leaf that has two different colors here. Let's get into your reading. I did not see the cards yet, but the first card that comes up is comparison. Look at how beautiful this message is for you guys. What, what needs to be surrendered here is comparing yourself to something else, somebody else, another person's experience. Listen. We have this tree right here and we have this bamboo, okay? Bamboo has its own um, strengths and qualities. You can make bamboo floors. You can, like, so many things you can do with bamboo and it's one of the strongest materials on earth. And then we have the tree where you can, oh my lord, what kinds of things can you do with every part of a tree? Firewood, the leaves, cooking with the fruits that come out of the tree, anything how can you compare yourself if you're a bamboo or if you're a tree how can you compare yourself to each other each one has such beautiful strengths each one has such beautiful 
things that it it gives to us how can you compare yourself okay and another thing that comes up for you guys a lot of you i feel like you feel alone because you're comparing yourself to something else that you are not or that maybe it's just not in your nature you know maybe um I don't, there's so many examples. The first one that comes to mind is like you see everybody around you getting married and having kids. And you're over there career driven, career like focused, and you feel guilt in yourself for not having a marriage and a child just yet. Or you could be the different. You could be um, somebody that has a child has a marriage and all that stuff and you see somebody that's thriving in their career and you're just like well damn like i wish i had that so there's no comparison here i i really want to drill that in your head it's like a duality here like you're like on both sides of the fence you're like damn i did this and i've uh, accumulated all of this but dang i wish i had that or i wish i had went on that path and i feel like that's something that you need to really let go of and come into your present moment and see where you are what you have what you've accomplished what you have accumulated and not compare it with another person's story every story is different uh, the first thing that popped up in my head is uh, Disney stories, right? Aladdin's story is different than Ariel's story. Ariel's story is different than Cinderella's story. Cinderella's story is different than Jasmine's story. They're different. And in no way can we compare those um, because they're all different stories. They're different lives and different characters and different people. So how can you compare just like that bamboo and the tree? Um, I feel like what needs to happen here is you need to let go of those stories and come into alone, like really spend some time alone and think about and cultivate what your story should be and what it should look like. Forget everybody else. What is yours? Um, Let's go into the next card. I haven't seen these cards yet, so I'm really interested to see what comes up in your reading. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't base your decisions off of comparing yourself with someone else or something else. Don't do that because it's not going to lead you anywhere healthy. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do some people might n think that a bamboo is stronger some people might think a tree is stronger but they're both strong they both have their benefits they both have what they give to th to the world and if you just go on about your life thinking that you're one or the other according to what people have told you um that's not right it's not healthy and it, it's just planting a lot of negative seeds in your head which coming to that i want you guys to go watch pile number one please go watch pile number one right after this reading there's so many messages in there for you take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path you choose your path with your uh, beliefs and your values what you've come through what you've overcome not why would you base your life decisions on something that somebody else overcame listen to yourself what you want and go forward toward that let go of these misconceptions like that you need to uh, be a certain way that you need to think a certain way that you need to act a certain way uh, a lot of this and you can find this on my only fans um i have the links down below the link tree link 
where you can get more information on stuff like that. But even sexually, like sometimes we think we need to be a certain way sexually. And that's, I feel like that's the biggest example I can give. Um, even like what you need to be in your home as a good wife or what you need to be in your home as a good mother or what you need to be in your home as a good um, independent adult. But don't compare your, your situation with somebody else's because everybody's situation and, and circumstance is different. Like if you look at a, a rose bush, every single flower blooms differently. Every single flower blooms at its own time and each one is beautiful. Some might be a little more wilted than the other. Some might be fresher than the other. Some might bloom a little bit more bigger than the other. But they're all beautiful. And so it comes from the same rose bush. And that's just like us humans. We come from the same, we're all humans, right? But we try to be something that maybe we're not. And I feel like we need to let go of that. A lot of you guys need to let go of misconceptions and seeds that have been planted in your head where you feel like you need to be something, but it's really not you. And what's being asked of you right now is to trust yourself. And what is it that you need and what you want in your solitude? What are the things that you think of when you're alone? What do you, what do you think of? What do you dream about when you're alone? Surrender to the wisdom of your own body. Look at these messages, you guys. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Who in your life makes you feel like what? Maybe take inventory of that. Get a journal, get a piece of paper, write down the names of the five closest people that you are close to and how do they make you feel? Is one of them or two of them or all of them even just criticizing you? Or are they supportive or are they loving? It, only you will know, right? And you need to take inventory of these things. And there is this message of don't listen to just everybody. Because sometimes people plant seeds. I swear to God, you guys, go watch pile number one. Go watch pile number one. But sometimes people plant seeds in your mind and later on in life those seeds pop up as something negative you might be this beautiful tree that can provide so much for so many people but you always wanted to be the bamboo but it wasn't truly you you could provide so much more being the the tree like i'm just trying to metaphorically kind of describe what's going on here you are trying to be something to provide and be something for other people. What is it that you want to be for yourself? Maybe you're trying to be a tree when you're actually a bamboo. Maybe you're trying to be a bamboo when you're actually the tree. But you will never know until you go in within yourself. Take some time alone. Think about whose voice is in your head which voice is yours which voice is not the next card that comes up is surrender comparisons with other people oh my god look at this comparison comparison two different decks you guys keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strengths attractiveness and power listen the first thing that popped up into my head is look at um Look at Kim Kardashian, right? And then look at somebody like, I don't even know who, Kim Kardashian. And look at Beyonce. Completely different people. Um, different fields of work. Body types even. I mean, they're kind of similar, but... How could you compare Beyonce to Kim Kardashian? How could you compare Kim Kardashian to Beyonce? They're different, but they still provide entertainment. They provide their talent in their own way. 
and however they can provide in their own way to society, to their families, to themselves, and to the craft, to the art. And I feel like a lot of you guys, what you need to surrender and let go of is this idea that you need to be a certain way or a certain thing or a certain type. No, you're different. And that's okay. And you need to embrace that and, and show it. I mean, come on. The first thing that uh, popped up into my head is, um, I forgot his name. But in Game of Thrones, it's, um, oh my god, I forgot his name. It's the dwarf um, in the Game of Thrones. Oh my god, what is his name? I know his name. He's my favorite character and I forgot his name. But you know what I'm talking about, right? It was um, Cersei's brother. It was Jamie's brother. And he looked different. And he was, they called him an imp. And, you know, they made fun of him because he was small and stuff like that. But in the end, he was one of the only ones that survived. So don't compare yourself with somebody that looks like everybody else. Don't compare yourself with somebody that does what everybody else does. We're not meant to come on this earth to become like everybody else. To look like everybody else. To think like everybody else. You know, sometimes cer certain people think differently and it, it changes the world. Look at uh, Elon Musk. Look at Einstein. Look at Beyonce and her music. Um, people who just invent different ways of living, different things, different lifestyles, different artwork, different creativity, different songs. Um, how can you ever compare yourself? You don't want to do that. It's not, it's not a strength at all. The next card that I have here is addiction or addicted. So are you addicted to like scrolling through your phone and keep looking at other people's lives and being like, damn, I don't have that. Or like scrolling through your phone and being like, dang, their life looks so good. Or dang, they had a baby or they just got married or this and that. They just got engaged, whatever. Who cares? Be happy for them. That's their journey. Everybody's story is different. It's like, it's like reading Disney books. Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast. Every story is different and that's your story too. You're just like one of those stories. Why would you want to be like someone else's story? That's such a huge message in your reading. You're different. Like this leaf. There's no leaf on the planet, I'm telling you, that probably looks like this leaf. It, it, it created its own self, colors, how it's drying how it's shedding and all that stuff it it's doing its own thing and it's beautiful look at how beautiful this leaf is if you went out and you ha saw a pile of leaves all the same colors same textures same everything and you saw this one you'd pick this one it's so beautiful and different it just stands out and that's you you don't need to look like every other leaf on the tree Okay, the last card that comes up for you guys is clear the past and heal the present. There's a cleansing that needs to be happening here. And what I want you guys to do is take a nice hot shower or a bath and just meditate in there or use essential oils in there, light a candle in there or take a bath with some herbs like um, sage herbs or basil or peppermint, something, add it to your bath. It's cleansing. Uh, cleanse yourself with incense, cleanse yourself with palo santo, cleanse yourself with sage, cleanse, you. cleanse your energy. Because you have gotten accustomed to comparing yourself with other people and making yourself feel really bad about it. And other people have made you feel bad because you're not like other people and you don't need to be okay if you guys want to book a reading with me head over to my Etsy shop I should have new two new readings um, available every single week I do two readings a week uh, and so you guys can get a hold of me there or if you email me my email is linked in the description down below that is my only email and I'm we can go from there and I can book you a reading from there too 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Pile number three, or everybody that picked this leaf right here, I see something here, like a duality, like masculine, feminine, merging, combining, something like that. So let's get into the reading. I don't know what the cards are. I shuffled them before I did the reading, so I just do want to see what's going on with you guys and what you need to let go of here. So the first two cards that came up are the burden and isolation. Okay, so, huh... If I pause for a second, just let me um, meditate on the cards a little bit. Okay. Okay. What you need to let go of here. There's something about you. There's something about you that's very different. It is very different. And I feel like you have isolated that different aspect of yourself. I don't know what this could be because it's a general reading. It could be maybe a relationship that you're in that nobody accepts. Maybe you're in a career or a field in your work that nobody really understands or accepts. Or maybe it's a lifestyle that you're living or somewhere you're living. I don't know. Something here where other people don't accept it. But that's okay. Because what I feel like is going on is you need to let go of what these people think. Oh, oh my lord, I want you guys to go read pile number one, please. There's so many messages in there for you. I feel like you've become so cold and isolated, but the warmth that you get from your coldness and your isolation is something you're very, very passionate about and you want to move towards and you want to head towards. This could be anything for so many different people. But whatever it is, and let me tell you guys, I believe this fully wholeheartedly because I have a tattoo on my foot and it's from a poet named Rumi and it says, respond to every call that excites your spirit. And I wanted to get it engraved onto my skin so that it gets engraved into my DNA. It gets engraved into my head. And every time I just look at it, I understand and I know the message that I'm giving to myself from Rumi. But it's a message that I want to keep giving myself for the rest of my life. Respond to every call that excites your spirit. And for you guys specifically, I feel like you need to let go of people's thoughts and opinions and whatever they're thinking and believing and saying um, and protruding onto what you're going towards. Like, fuck them, okay? You have this passion and you're going towards it. It's exciting and you feel passionate about it. Now, listen. When you think about these celebrities like uh, Beyonce, like Cardi B, like Kanye West, like whatever the controversies are, but they're musical geniuses or acting wise, you know, um, who's a really good actor, Johnny Depp, like they know their craft, they know their art. And if they let anybody put some stupid shit into their brain, we would not have their art in this world. And their art and their craft and their music and their acting and their movies and just whatever they're doing and portraying and whatever it is, right? It helps so many people. Like so many people watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, so many people listen to Beyonce's music, Cardi B's music, Rihanna's music. Uh, who else is it? Eminem, Jay-Z, um, so many other artists. If they let somebody else come into their brain and then they let it affect their music or their craft, can you imagine? That's not right. That's not fair. And that's not their place. Because this craft and this artwork and this music that these people are presenting to the world... It's so genuine and authentic and it's just beautiful and it's theirs. Like nobody else could do that in the way that they do, right? Like I just watched the other day, I was watching Edward Scissorhands from Johnny Depp. That is my second favorite movie of all time. 
And nobody could have played Edward Scissorhands the way Johnny Depp did. Right? Um, even like, even like simple roles, like in The Grudge. Nobody could play that girl Samara like that girl did. Like, everybody brings their own stuff to the platform. And f so for you guys, I feel like what you need to let go of is shutting yourself off from the very things you love, okay? Stubbornness. Stop being so stubborn, okay? Um, if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and with yourself. So, I feel like you guys want to do something. You guys want to head into a specific path in your life, but you're listening to other people too much. And this is why I want to keep saying, go listen to pile number one. It has become a burden on you of what everybody else is saying. And you've isolated yourself from them a little bit and also from your own craft, from your own passion. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. And sometimes we lose, we lose sight of that. We forget that. Or, you know, we let other things take over our ability to control our own thoughts. Other people's thoughts can take over our own thoughts. Uh, when negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Now I know uh, positive affirmations, uh, for some people it's really hard. Like you're just like keep repeating a good positive affirmation over and over again, how's it gonna come true? But it helps, it really, really does and for me, what I want to tell you guys is you need to find a way where it helps you. Is it going to help you more beneficial? Are you are you like a writer? Do you like physical? Um, writing things out. Write your affirmation. I'm happy. I deserve this, this, and this. I deserve to be happy. I am wealthy. I am um, thriving. I'm successful. I have a beautiful love life. Whatever your intention is. If you're a writer, I want you to use that and write it out. <coughs> Excuse me. If you are a, um, if you like to work with candles, right? Use the appropriate herbs and oils in your candle for this intention. However you want to do this, how do you navigate negative thinking and if you do not have a way to navigate your negative thinking you're gonna go into stubbornness and isolation and it's gonna become a huge burden on you do you see the light in this leaf but do you see the darkness in that leaf so you want to make sure that you keep the light as much as you can. And even sometimes in certain seasons, like the season for this leaf, it was meant to dry out and fall off the tree. But it still held on a little bit of its light right there and you can see it. And this is what's being called for you. So negative thinking, stubbornness, isolating yourself and creating, or not creating, but like um, immersing yourself in the things that you believe to be burdens in your life, it's not serving you. And these are things you need to let go of and release. The next card that comes up is surrendering to non-action. Now is the time to be still and act. No, <laughs> I didn't read that right. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. I feel like you've been so giving and giving and giving, not receiving. Like, I feel like you're the type, you're the pile that if somebody gives you a compliment, you are suspicious of the compliment or you don't take the compliment well or you're just like, oh, they're lying or they're just trying to be nice. But sometimes it's very genuine. And the reason that you feel like, you know, it's fake or they're lying or they're just trying to be nice is because you've isolated yourself. You've become so stubborn. Your burden is so big and you have so much negative thoughts in your mind that you cannot 
fathom something sweet that somebody says to you, something nice that somebody says to you. And I feel like it happens a lot, but you just don't take it in. And it's time to surrender that and let it go. Take these compliments. People look at you. People flock towards you. I feel like a lot of you are very attractive people. So people look at you and maybe you take those looks as something that's negative. But maybe they're just admiring your beauty in whatever way, form, or how they know how to. Sometimes it's disrespectful. Sometimes it's respectful. Sometimes it's compliments. Sometimes it's staring. But you have made yourself so cold. Look at this cold, the cold vibes here. That you are freezing away the warmth of your life. And we need you to become warm again. We need you to bring your light out again. Unfreeze. And what's needed for all of this is to let these burdens go. Accept compliments. Accept genuine... Um, like, I, I really feel like people are very genuine around you, but you just don't accept it or you don't take it. You don't embrace it. Revenge. I feel like there's also something here where you just want revenge. You just want justice. You want somebody else to pay for something. And let me tell you a little secret. If you can do what I'm telling you to do right now, which is relax a little bit, start thinking a little bit more positively, Try to switch your thoughts. And this is what I do. Like if if I have a thought, like I'm like, oh my God, I didn't finish all this work today. I was supposed to do this and this and this. And I'm just so mean to myself. Like you are so lazy. You didn't even get all this done. Like I, sometimes I'm real mean to myself. And what I, I'm just trying to give an example. You're going to instead be like, you know what? What did I accomplish today? And damn. I did accomplish that today and I'm proud of myself and tomorrow will accomplish more. And it lights a fire in your coldness. <laughs> um, stubbornness. With the stubbornness card, I want to tell you guys, um, listen more. Just listen and try not to react. Listen and don't react. You can react any other time that you want to. You can listen, take in the information that is being presented to you, the other party's feelings, whatever. And then you take a step back, you think about it, you go over it, you reflect on it, and then you present yourself back to that same conversation. Trust me, there's a lot of power in that. And don't isolate yourself. Don't just shut yourself out because sometimes it's hard to speak about certain things, communicate about certain things. Right now is not the time for you to shut out. It's a time for you to reflect and find a way to present yourself back to this conversation, back to the situation. Because it's, it's a burden on you. And we need to let it go. We need to let this go. And this is how you can let it go. Not through the way of accumulating revenge. Not through the way of like holding a grudge. Like, um, I feel like this is the time to just kind of think about, I don't, I don't know how to say this because I can't really say it on YouTube. If you guys were on Patreon, maybe I could say a little bit more of my feelings openly, but here I cannot say that word. Um, but Say, um, say there was a dad and he found his daughter was being molested, right? And so what he did is he went and found the person and he killed him or he beat him up or really hurt him really badly. He would get in trouble for that legally, law wise, right? But of course, like, I feel like, you know, a lot of people would give the benefit of the doubt and everything, like, take his side, but still, legally, law-wise, he did hurt another human being. 
but his little kid was also hurt. So you see, like, sometimes don't just react. Think things through. See how you can get a better reward for the grudge that you have. So like the same guy, he could have taken it to court and oh man, like I don't I don't know. I don't know. Taking something to court, like something like that, you don't even know if you get justice. I really don't believe sometimes people do. But I'm I'm just saying, like, instead of getting yourself in trouble, like the dad would get himself in trouble and then take the fatherly figure away from his little child if he did something that would affect the child so much more and not, not even so much more but it would affect the child like losing your father because he was trying to protect you and stuff like that so listen like i'm just trying to give like the most dramatic <laughs> example that i can but it's the first thing that popped up into my head um, sometimes just think things through. Try to do things in a way where you you get your way, where you just don't react completely over your emotions and get yourself in trouble, hurt the people that you love in this process. Even if like, you know, people you love have been hurt, there's ways to do, there's ways to get around that, there's ways to get, there's ways. But we got to do them silently. Don't just uh, react and work through revenge. The next card that comes up, the last card that comes up in your guys' reading is reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. You... Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this darkness. Look at this light. Look at this darkness right here. Look at the light. Look at the darkness and look at her. She's light. Oh my gosh. You guys. There is light out of this. There is something that is coming for you guys if you can just let go of your um, reactive habit, I want to say, of just reacting real quick out of anger, out of emotion, and saying whatever you want, and just all that. Just take a step back. Just shh, 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 shh. Silent, silent, shh, silent. Take a step back. Think about it. Gather your resources. Gather your tools. And then present yourself to this situation. And I want you guys to go watch pile number one as well. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want a deeper reading, head over to my Etsy shop. I have two readings available every single week. But if you guys want, I sometimes take more readings through my email. You can email me and we can go from there. My email is down in the description box below. That's my only email. Don't listen to these scammers. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.